Taylor and I are carving a larger than life size bust of Julia Dorr for the Rutland Sculpture Trail in Rutland, Vermont. Julia Dorr was the founder of the Rutland Public Library. When it's complete, it will go outside of the library for the community to enjoy. My name is Evan Morse. My name is Taylor Apostle. I'm here at the carving studio in West Rutland, Vermont, which is on the site of a former marble quarry. Now it's a nonprofit arts center. They were a major industrial part of this area for a long time, and there's still an active quarry about 30 miles south of us in Danby, Vermont. And that's where the block for this sculpture came from. Plaster model was created by Amanda Sisk. Amanda came up with the design by looking at Julia Dorr's writings, pulling out the images from nature, and we're trying to do a, as close to an exact copy of it as possible. We're using a pointing machine. It's a one-to-one -one translation. Basically, it's a system of triangulation. So you set three points on the model, and then you have three corresponding points on the marble. And that is where the cross sits. So it sits in exactly the same place on both the plaster and the marble. Any fourth point you measure relative to those should be exactly the same place. We worked on this project last fall in October for a month, cutting down the block, setting up the three points, which make it possible to use the pointing machine. It's basically an arm that moves around and has a little rod to set the depth. You move it from the plaster model to the marble. Then you can carve down until you're just above the final surface of the marble. So the first round of points is about a quarter inch away from the surface, and this gives a little bit of a cushion. Those allowed us to rough out the block. Then we went back and did a second pass of points, and we did over a thousand points. A millimeter away from the final surface. And then you mark it, drill a little hole, mark it again with a pencil, and that point stays there until the very end when you arrive at the final surface and you can file it away. Once we have the points on, using several different sizes of pneumatic hammers. So you start with the big ones and the larger chisels. As you progress closer to the surface, you're using a smaller air hammer, smaller, finer chisels, diamond files, and hand chisels with a tiny hand hammer. Occasionally a die grinder. At this point we're using observation where we've got a lot of information from the points. For the most part now we're just using our eyes, looking at the model, copying what we see, and carving away. 